Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are planning for the week of June 14th through the 20th and we're going to be using the Americana kit from Coffee Planner Mom. Now, those of you who've seen my videos before, you know I am a PR girl for this term of Coffee Planner Mom. Um, my code is Holly15. And that'll give you 15% off your order if you choose to order from her. I highly suggest you do. She's got some really great kits going on. Um, so this is a fun week because this week is my birthday. So I thought since my birthday is on Flag Day, we would use some of the Americana kit. That's what I liked about it. Hmm... trying to decide if I want to save these for 4th of July, but I think I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to use them now. Because they're so cute. Just kind of looking across everything. We do have lots of appointments this week. For those of you who do not know, my parents have moved in, we are officially moved in. Let's go ahead and do my sidebar because I know, I know what I want to do with that. They've officially moved in, so... That part is done, which makes meal planning a little bit tricky um, because I'm used to cooking for two people and now I'm cooking for four. So, and we all kind of eat at different times. So that's also super fun. I think what I'll do is I'll put this stripey guy up here so I can write June. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to use the days of the week covers, the day covers here. This is an hourly layout, and I usually I white out the hours, but again, we do have a lot of kind of appointments at certain times, so I want to make sure I get those in without messing things up. So I think on the 14th, ooh, a full box would be like perfect right there. Let's do this guy. We gotta block out some time because we have two appointments. One is like a blocked out, our electrical company needs to come out and work on something. So of course they give you like a four hour block window time to do that. But then also we're meeting with the realtor at the same time. Is that too much pink? Maybe I do the light blue instead. Light blue instead. Yeah, so this is all happening at the parent home because it's not sold yet. Like we're getting it ready to sell. So that's Monday, as well as birthday. Do I want to put birthday sticker? Yes. Yes, we do. We'll put that up at the top. Just for fun. Then what else do we got? I've got a call, a team call, pink zebra thing. So let's use, I think I'm gonna just go with these lighter, like the ones that have the pinks and the lighter blues and not so much like the deeper ones. I think I'll save those for 4th of July. Um, let's do, Mm, 
Mm, that might be too straight, but let's do a solid one there. The navy, yes, yes. And maybe throw the don't forget on top. And then the last thing is, well, we have Father's Day and we have, um, we have a wedding to go to on Saturday. So let's use, let's bring this guy back in on that side. And it's like an earlier in the day wedding. It starts at, the service is at 1030. And then it's going to be like lunch and dancing, which is kind of fun. I like that idea. We'll put maybe the light blue. We'll go off this way. Then we have Father's Day. Mark that here. Probably won't use the weekend banner this week. Um, ooh, let's do a checklist for chores. Trying to get back into my, um, what's it called? My zone cleaning chore list. Um, we still have a lot of, like, decluttering to do, but that's okay. This would technically be the kitchen zone, so let's put a chore sticker down. And this would be zone three. Where we're working in the kitchen. And then do I have my little book? I do. So this is my little book of Coffee Planner Mom stickers. And I think I'm gonna use the blustery blue bullet points. Oh, do I have, oh, I've got these guys too. So that I can mark off, maybe I won't use the bullets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got these guys too, let's do. I didn't do this last week. Sorry if I'm babbling. I'm still really tired of this week. Um, this is kind of my checklist of keeping track of my points for Weight Watchers, and my activity, and my sleep, and my steps. Just because I like to see that kind of data. It's not because it means more to me than it means to anybody else. And then we'll cut some of these apart. Do maybe we will. Oh, my scissors are in a good spot. My scissors are in a good spot. So I did an ask me anything on my Instagram um, and on a previous YouTube video, um, and I almost forgot that I was going to talk about some of that this time. So let's answer the one about like. How I got into teaching or why I became a music teacher because that was one of the questions I got why music well I really I grew up in a musical family my dad played the saxophone my mom was in choir it is no joke that we would sing in three-part harmony on our way to school with the Christian music station I went to a, a Lutheran school through fourth grade and yeah, so nerdy, <laughs> nerdy three-part singing in the car. Um, my dad would always quiz us on the oldie station of who was singing and what year was it released. I'm not as good at that anymore as I used to be, but we were quizzed on that as kids. So I just kind of grew up in a musical family, but it wasn't until middle school where I really was like, this is what I want to do. And it was my orchestra's teacher in middle school that kind of gave me some leadership roles 
where in eighth grade I would go and be a teacher's aide for her in the sixth grade class and like a kid who was absent because sixth grade was when you started learning the string instruments like if you were choosing to be an orchestra so if like there was a kid who was absent a lot a lot of times I would catch them up by going to um like going into a practice room and I would just say okay here's where we are and where you need to be and let's work on this and that's where I really got the bug to be a music teacher and I thought for sure I'd be an orchestra teacher that's what I wanted to do so I went to college and then um, found out I really loved the elementary school did not expect to love the elementary school as much as I did but my college had all of the music majors you did a lot of work at the elementary level um, and I'm sure that's because there's more elementary music positions than there are band orchestra choir positions in the middle school and high school. A lot more elementary positions out there, but loved it. Love, love, loved it. And so, yeah, I, that's why, and I've been teaching, I've taught in two different school districts um, so far. You never know what'll happen. And I just, I don't know. I love the aha moment. I remember I did a part of my student teaching at the high school because I didn't get a chance to do a lot at the high school level during other undergrad things and I remember after the first week telling the teacher I'm like I don't want to do this how do we get through the next seven weeks and he was like you're a person who needs to have the big aha moment and that's what elementary gives you by by middle school and high school, they don't they don't have that moment the same way. It's not as big of a aha as it is when where do I want to put this one? It's not as big of an aha when they're in high school and in middle school. So I think we'll just put it right there. I like that. Born to sparkle. That's me. Sparkle. <laughs> So yeah, so that's how I kind of got into teaching and why I love it so much and I'm such a nerd about it. Let's put our pink zebra game night sticker in and I think that's going to do it for this spread. I know it's kind of a quiet one, kind of quick. I was struggling all week with everything going on going, what do I want my birthday spread to look like? And so it's not really too different from anything else. I'll probably add stickers in during the week. I've done that before the last few weeks. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. If you have other ask me questions, put them in the comments below. And I will catch you all in the next one.